Can you describe your experience in managing financial operations? My experience in managing financial operations spans over 15 years. In my previous role as the CFO at XYZ Corporation, I oversaw the financial planning and analysis, budgeting, and financial reporting. I implemented a new financial software system that streamlined our processes and improved accuracy, resulting in a 20% reduction in closing time. Additionally, I managed a team of 20 finance professionals, ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements and optimizing our financial performance. How do you approach financial forecasting and budgeting? I approach financial forecasting and budgeting with a data-driven mindset. I start by analyzing historical data, current market trends, and economic indicators. I collaborate closely with department heads to gather input and align their goals with the company's strategic objectives. Using advanced financial modeling tools, I create multiple scenarios to anticipate potential risks and opportunities. This approach ensures our budget is both realistic and flexible enough to adapt to changing circumstances. Can you give an example of a time you improved a company's financial performance? At ABC Incorporated, the company was struggling with declining profit margins. I conducted a thorough analysis and identified inefficiencies in our supply chain and procurement processes. By renegotiating supplier contracts and implementing cost-saving measures, we reduced our expenses by 15%. Additionally, I introduced a new pricing strategy that better reflected market demand and value, which increased our revenue by 10% within the first year. How do you ensure compliance with financial regulations and standards? Ensuring compliance is critical in my role as a CFO. I stay updated on the latest regulatory changes and incorporate them into our policies and procedures. I also conduct regular internal audits and collaborate with external auditors to verify our financial statements accuracy. By fostering a culture of transparency and ethical behavior, I ensure that all team members understand and adhere to compliance requirements. Implementing robust internal controls and continuous training further supports our compliance efforts. How do you handle financial risk management? I take a proactive approach to financial risk management by identifying potential risks early and developing mitigation strategies. I use tools like scenario analysis and stress testing to evaluate the impact of different risk factors on our financial health. For instance, during an economic downturn, I assessed our liquidity position and took measures to strengthen our cash reserves. I also diversified our investment portfolio to spread risk and ensure we are not overly reliant on any single revenue stream. How do you manage and motivate your finance team? Managing and motivating my finance team is one of my top priorities. I believe in setting clear goals and expectations while providing the necessary support and resources to achieve them. I encourage open communication and regular feedback to foster a collaborative environment. Recognizing and rewarding high performance is crucial, so I implement incentive programs and career development opportunities. I also invest in continuous learning and professional development to keep the team updated with the latest industry trends and skills. Can you discuss a time you had to make a difficult financial decision? In my previous role, we faced a significant financial downturn due to an unexpected market shift. After evaluating all options, I made the tough decision to downsize certain departments to ensure the company's long-term viability. This involved detailed analysis and consultations with senior leadership to identify the least disruptive way to proceed. Although it was a difficult process, it ultimately stabilized our finances and positioned us for a stronger recovery. How do you align financial strategy with overall business strategy? I believe that financial strategy should be a cornerstone of the overall business strategy. To achieve this alignment, I work closely with the CEO and other executive team members to understand the company's vision and long-term goals. I translate these objectives into financial targets and develop strategies to support them. For example, if the business strategy involves expanding into new markets, I ensure that our financial planning accounts for the required investment, potential risks, and expected returns. Regularly reviewing our financial performance against strategic goals helps us stay on track and make necessary adjustments. How do you stay current with changes in financial regulations and industry trends? Staying current with changes in financial regulations and industry trends is essential for a CFO. 
I subscribe to industry journals, participate in professional organizations such as the Association for Financial Professionals, AFP, and the Chartered Financial Analyst, CFA, Institute, and attend relevant conferences and seminars. Additionally, I have a network of peers and advisors with whom I discuss emerging trends and best practices. Continuous learning through online courses and webinars also keeps me updated on the latest developments in finance and business. How do you handle a situation where the company's financial performance is underperforming? When the company's financial performance is underperforming, I take a systematic approach to identify the root causes and develop corrective actions. First, I conduct a detailed financial analysis to pinpoint the areas of concern. This might involve reviewing revenue streams, cost structures, and operational efficiencies. Next, I collaborate with department heads to implement targeted strategies, such as cost reduction initiatives, process improvements, or revenue enhancement programs. Communicating transparently with stakeholders about the challenges and our action plan is crucial to maintain trust and support. Monitoring progress closely allows us to make adjustments as needed and steer the company back to a stronger financial footing. How do you approach cost control and expense management? Cost control and expense management are critical components of financial stewardship. I begin by conducting a thorough review of all expenses to identify areas where we can reduce costs without compromising quality. This involves negotiating better terms with suppliers, optimizing operational processes, and eliminating waste. I also implement a robust budget monitoring system to track spending against budgeted amounts and quickly address any variances. Encouraging a culture of cost awareness among employees through training and incentive programs ensures that everyone is aligned with our cost-saving goals.